Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Jira Cloud tutorial, we are going to learn how to add story points in Jira. Now story points are more relevant for the user stories in Jira or any you know Scrum project. If you are working in the Scrum project, you would have seen that story point is sort of an estimation that we put against a user story, uh, which basically defines or clarifies the amount of time or uh, the effort that is going to take to complete that piece of work which is the user story now uh, in the projects there might be a requirement that the projects want to have the story points enabled for other issue types as well say for example uh, the subtask or bug as well so we'll understand in jira cloud how you can enable story points for other issue type it is not recommended however if required in jira you can enable it for the scrum uh, and even for the kanban project now in the kanban project usually story point doesn't make sense because kanban is mostly used for the continuous flow of work uh, and the story point might be required so if required you can enable it but by default in jira you won't be getting that option to have the story points so let's start with the uh, scrum project first so i'll start with the classic scrum project because most of the projects that you will be working with uh, will be classic scrum projects if you are working in the software development so we'll open classic scrum project and if you want to see whether you can uh, add the user story so simply say for example i'll create an issue in this particular classic scrum project and if i choose the issue type as story and scroll down you will see the story point field is available right so i can add the story points in this particular story let me change it to epic and for epic as well you will see the story points is available so in case this field is not available i'll show you how you can enable that so for task and bug let me show for the task so for task you won't be having that field by default and for bug it's not available as well okay so say for example in your project you want to have the story point tracking for these two issue type as well now let me start with the tasks so the easiest way is to basically go to the configure fields and if you can't see the field here say most of the time uh, it might happen that the field is here but it is not displayed so for example it is chosen as custom and it is not being selected and it's not displayed here so make sure all is selected and just check if that field is available if not then you can go to the where is my field and here start typing the field that you are not able to see so i'll say story points and once you see the story point it will give all the details about the field so field configuration field screen where that field is available and then project and issue type scope so here in the scope you'll see the field story point is not configured on scope of project rcv scrum okay classic scrum and issue type task so for this issue type it is not configured so what we have to do is to solve this issue go to story points configuration page so let's go there so i'll open story points configuration page and here you will see that in the configuration only epic and story are being chosen in this particular project so to add the other issue types what we have to do is we have to click on edit configuration and make sure you have the administration access before you you will be having these uh, permissions to edit this so here now i can see that story and epic are already chosen now if i want to choose bug task and subtask as well or if i just say any issue type then all the issue type in this particular um, project or the the issue type that are available here will be having that particular field available okay so if i want to choose all so i want to have story point for bug task and subtask i'll choose any issue type and now bug story task subtask and epic will have that particular story uh, points field available 
okay now below you will see here choose applicable context so basically here what you have to do is you have to choose the context if i select global context then it applies to all issues in jira okay but i don't want to choose the global context i'll choose the context of a selected project because this is the project so classic scrum so that i don't change the configuration of any other project so i'll choose this second option and i'll choose rcv classic scrum project or whatever project i want to update and i'll click on modify okay so now you can see the issue type is global that means all issues we have chosen and this is the project okay so now if i go back and close this page cancel it and let's refresh and open the project so rcv classic scrum project and let me create task this time okay so task is selected and let me scroll down and see story points is available here now okay so story points is available for task story point let's see if it is available for bug as well so for bug it is still not available so the reason we have to find out so to find out the reason easiest option go to configure fields click on where is my field and again type in story points okay so now let's read out why it is not available on the bug screen so here field story points field is not included in rt scrum bug screen okay so on this particular screen that you see when we open the bug or try to create the bug this field is not visible so what we have to do is we have to to solve this we have to go to this rt scrum bug screen screen configuration and update it so let me open it and this is the screen configuration and if you'll see the field story points is not available here and that is why it is not visible even though we have enabled the global context for that particular field so what we have to simply do from here i'll simply type in story points and add it here okay so now this story points is added to the issue bug as well okay so that's done we don't have to save or anything it's already saved now if i go back close it and cancel it and refresh this page and let's try to create the issue type bug again and now that field should be visible so for the bug now you can see story points is available now the reason it was not available because this field itself was not part of this screen which is the bug screen that you see okay so the easiest option to you know troubleshoot any of the screen layout issues is basically go to the configure field and click on where is my field and this is the easiest option to basically uh, figure out why the screens or why the fields are not visible okay so this is all about how to enable or how to add story points in jira for the issue type so now when you are creating any of the issues so for example i'm creating bug and i'll say test bug and then i can add say for example this bug is complex and it will require you know three story points then i can add you know three story points in this particular bug and create it okay because i have this story point enabled similarly for task i have the story points field available so i can have the story points for the tasks as well okay so this is how you will enable story points in the classic scrum project now if we go to the um, you know kanban so classic kanban so usually in kanban you won't see that particular field okay because kanban are totally different uh, projects or they are they are the purpose of kanban project uh, or kanban methodology is more for the it support or continuous flow of work so in those cases uh, it is not you know story points are not relevant much but in case it is required then say for example i want to create an issue here say for example classic kanban i want to issue uh, create a task and i want to have the field story point so i can do similar 
uh, you know option so for for task basically i can go to configure field and click on where is my field and i'll say story points and i can follow similar steps to configure and add that field in my classic kanban so nothing different as such so i can simply go to story points configuration field and here um, you know this is global at the moment the project is only classic scrum so what i can do is i can add the kanban project as well okay so i can say classic kanban as well and modify okay and then all the issues in the classic kanban project will also be having that story point field when you create the issue type okay so let's go ahead and click on create and now you will see if if the field is not visible so that might be another issue because of the the field is not available on this screen so let me to go to story uh, story it's not there as well so we have to basically add that field to this screen because in kanban by default it's not available so i'll go to configure fields again click on where is my field and go to story points again and this time i have to basically go to the screen screen uh, bug screen screen configuration and add that field okay so in this configuration i have to add the story points okay so same thing i have to do for user story for task so this is for the bug i have done it for the bug so now if i go back and cancel this and create bug again i should be able to see story points okay so this is for the kanban project or classic kanban now if i go to the next gen project i'll also quickly show you how you can configure on the next gen scrum so in the next gen scrum usually if i click on create for the story the field story point estimate will be there automatically okay for the epic let's see if it is there for the epic it's not there and i think for other issue type say bug it's not there as well uh, for bug it is it is there so in case you know like you are not able to find that field so for example i'll go for task task is there um so i think in next gen project it's available for most of the fields so for example epic it's not there then what we can do is we can uh, check in the configure field here if it is not there then to do the settings because this is the next gen project and you will you won't get so many customization options here so what you can do is you can go to the project settings and in the project settings we can go to the issue types all right and here in the issue types say for example for epics so if you see the bug we have story point estimate right for stories we have for tasks we have it okay and even for subtask we have this but for epic we don't have so if we don't have it simply go to epic and here you have the story point estimate you can drag and drop it, okay and now if i click on save changes and go back to the next gen scrum project and go to next gen scrum project and click on create and for the epic i should be having story point estimate right so this is how i will enable story point estimate for next gen scrum project now if i go to the next gen kanban it's exactly similar so next gen kanban let's see um, click on create usually this is not recommended to have story points for the kanban but if it is a requirement jira provides you the flexibility to basically configure those fields so in the next gen kanban the field is not there what we'll do is we'll go to the project settings and in the project settings go to the issue type and here in the bug you don't have right or in the story you don't have or in the task you don't have right so that the reason you don't have is because in the kanban you don't need the story point or you don't need to estimate the stories or your work item in the terms of stories but in case you need it you can basically create a custom field so here you see the create field so you can create a custom field name it as you know story points so for example i'll say number and i'll say uh, story points 
and then I can add that field in you know say for example I want to add it in the task I have added it in the task so let me add it in the story okay so here I've got the story point because I have added the custom field so now it is added for the story as well okay so if I go back uh, so let me save it so I'll save it and for this particular project if I go and select the story now you can see the custom field story points is available okay so this is how you will uh, you know customize Jira projects and I have covered these projects because these are the most widely used projects that you will come across now it doesn't matter whether you come across next gen scrum or next gen kanban or classic scrum or classic kanban i have walked you through all these projects and shown you how you can customize and add the story point field in any issue type in these type of projects okay now recommended approach is to have story points only for stories and epics if possible but ideally it's for stories but in case in the project you need it for other issue types now you know what are the steps you need to follow to configure the story points field for other issue type in any projects in jira cloud so that's all for this tutorial hope you like it please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching